What's up, Thinx athletes? With today's workout, I'm gonna show you how to get bigger arms with just a pair of dumbbells. And if you want stronger, bigger arms, you need to ensure that you're increasing your time under tension and creating a progressive overload by adding reps and sets, decreasing rest time, or increasing the resistance of an exercise over time, which is actually why this routine is so effective. As you can come back to it and apply one of those three changes to ensure that you're making steady growth with the confidence that you'll be effectively hitting all the muscles in your arms from the three heads of your shoulders, the two heads in your biceps, the three heads in your triceps, and even your forearms. And best of all, you can do today's workout absolutely anywhere, whether you're in the gym or at home, because all you'll need is a pair of dumbbells and an elevated surface for one exercise. And that also means that any fitness level can do and benefit from this workout. What will determine the difficulty is the weight of the dumbbells that you decide to use. So if you're ready to get started, grab a pair of dumbbells that are gonna challenge you, but allow you to hit 10 to 15 reps and to properly follow along with this routine, like always, download the Thenix app in the App Store, Google Play Store, or just hit the link down in the video description below. You'll be able to find this routine in the YouTube workout section, or you can just search it in the app, open it up, and we're ready to get started. We're gonna start off with the biggest muscle group in our arms, that's gonna be our shoulders. And a lot of those shoulder exercises are gonna indirectly hit our triceps as well. So we'll move on into triceps after that, then into biceps and finish off with forearms. The first exercise for our shoulders is gonna be seated Arnold press, emphasizing on our frontal and medial delt while still hitting a bit of our rear delt as well as our serratus interior, our traps, and even our triceps. So we're gonna take a seated position just like this, back straight, core tight. You're gonna bring the dumbbells up, have them together, come out, press, come back down, and bring them right back together again. Squeeze and control every movement. We're going for 12 reps. Squeeze your core and breathe. There's a fifth rep right here. Six, halfway there. All right, we've got two more reps. Squeeze the core, try not to move. Last one. All right. Let's go ahead and give your arms a quick little break. You should feel the pump in your shoulders already. That's a killer exercise. I mean, this exercise was literally named after Arnold, so you know it works. Going into the next exercise, we're gonna be emphasizing now more on our rear delts, and that's gonna cap off our entire shoulders already with rear delt flies for 15 reps. Now for your rear delts, you can definitely use a lighter dumbbell if you need to. Gonna bend over, back straight, spread out, come back nice and controlled. Squeeze your core. Really squeeze your rear delts. Elbows out. Five more left. Two more. Last one. All right. Next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be the last one for our shoulders. That's gonna be half lateral to frontal raise for 10 reps. This exercise, you definitely wanna go lighter. You can even use half of the amount of weights that you were using before. So go ahead and stop the video if you need to. Take a quick second to catch your breath. Everyone else that's ready, you wanna stand shoulder width apart. Big chest, core tight. You can lean slightly forward. Get those dumbbells right in front of you. And we're gonna go up, close, up, down, out, and down. We're hitting all the areas of our shoulders, every head with this exercise. You can have it come right in front, come out, or you can have it right by your side as well. Almost there. We'll do two more. Whew, shoulders should be on fire. 
All right, last one, here we go. All right, there you have it. An absolute killer, your shoulders, and even a bit of your triceps should be on fire by now. And now we're actually gonna move on into triceps. It's one of my favorite exercises for not only growing the tricep, making your arm look a lot bigger, and even to increase your pushing strength. We're gonna be going for laying skull crushers for 15 reps. All right, so we're gonna be using our elevated surface now. Get on your back, have your dumbbells hang right behind you, squeeze them together, go all the way as long as you can, full range of motion all the way up. We're going for 15 reps, squeeze your core, make sure your elbows are straight and not flared out. Control this movement. Five more. Squeeze, don't rush it. I'm not sure if this is 15, so we'll do another one just in case. Squeeze, squeeze, and hold the bottom. Squeeze, feel that tricep. All right. Take a second to catch your breath. You should definitely feel the triceps pump like crazy. We're gonna move on to building our triceps individually with single arm tricep kickbacks for 12 reps each arm. So choose a weight that's gonna allow you to hit 12 reps, but of course, still challenge you. I'm gonna start off with my left arm first. You want your feet shoulder width apart, big chest. Come down, you're gonna go full extension and back in. Try to really control this movement. Squeeze that tricep head. Two more, last one. Definitely feel the squeeze. All right, one, two, 10 more. Really squeeze when you get to the top. Squeeze the core as well, two more. All right, shake that off. We just hit all three heads of our triceps, now ready to move on into our biceps. Starting off with twisting hammer curls for 15 reps, hitting our long and short head of our bicep as well as our brachialis. And to be honest, stabilizing all of these exercises with the dumbbells, even my core has a pump if you're really squeezing the core. If you need to take a break, go ahead. Catch your breath. But remember, one of the three things you can do to create a progressive overload is to decrease that rest time, so. Let's try to do that now. Squeeze, big chest, come up, twist, come right back down. Up, twist, and right back down. We're going for 15 reps. Control your movement. 10 more reps. Squeeze, control your breath. Here we go, five, four, three, all the way up, two, elbows forward, and one. All right, we just have two more exercises to go. I'm gonna put those down for a second, give our arms a break. Coming up next is the last bicep exercise. We're gonna be going for supinated to pronated curls for 12 reps, completing our entire bicep and even our forearm, and at this point, our entire arm. Now the pronation part of this exercise may be a little difficult, so if you need to go ahead and grab some lighter dumbbells, that's fine. Remember, shoulder width apart, big chest. We're gonna start curling, turn it down, come right back down, turn it up, curl up, turn it down, go right back down. We got 10 more left. Squeeze the core. You don't wanna rock. You want to keep the core tight, stay solid. Here we go, almost there. 
I believe this is the last rep. But since I'm not sure, let's do one more for good luck. Curl up, twist, and come down. All right. We are down to the final exercise. We've hit every muscle in our arms fully, but we're gonna finish off really doubling down on our forearms, even though we've hit our forearms literally with every exercise that we've done. But you'll also feel it in the rest of your muscles in your arm as well, from your shoulder, bicep, tricep, brachialis. With this last exercise, we're gonna be going for dumbbell wrist curls. 15 reps. So I'm gonna hang my wrist over just like this, curl them right up, come right back down. Curl up and down. You want to keep your arms straight, so you're really just trying to work that forearm. But you'll definitely see the shoulder, the tricep pop up, brachialis. Curl up. All right, we got 10 more left. Squeeze. One of my favorite exercises. Three, two, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last one, hold it, hold it, hold it, and drop. All right, there we have it. The pump is insane right now. And in just a couple minutes, I mean, we got one of the best arm workouts that you can get, whether you're in the gym or at home. And that's one of the main reasons why I love this workout, because you can do it absolutely anywhere and it won't make your workout any less effective. In fact, if you got through this with me, this may be even harder than some of the workouts that you're doing with all the equipment in the gym. But anyway, congratulations for getting through this. You're on your way to building some solid, strong arms, not just looking strong, actually being strong. And like always, to get this routine on your phone and schedule it at any time, as well as get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides teaching you the most advanced skills like the human flag, muscle up, full planche, handstand, and so much more step-by-step, step, as well as join the Thenx community of millions of Thenx athletes around the world using the Thenx app, just like you, to get in the best shape of their lives. All you have to do is download Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store, or just hit the link down in the video description below. And like always, of course, guys, doing this once is a great routine, but the more you do it, the stronger you're gonna get. And to benefit the most out of this routine, you wanna be able to do it for at least two to four rounds. So run the video right back, and let's give it a couple more sets. But before you do that, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you smash the like button it really helps us out and it helps YouTube share our videos to more people out there. And it's really been working, so I appreciate you guys so much. And to show my appreciation, if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you're always gonna have a chance to win some Thenx gear. So hit the subscribe button right now with bell notifications on if you haven't already so you never miss out on a video. I post every single Monday by 10 a.m. USA Eastern Time. But anyway, I'm gonna finish my arm workout and do a couple more rounds. I'll see you next Monday. But in the meantime, check out this video that's gonna take your training and your physique to a whole new level. I'll see you there. Mad love, peace out.